since we've done a formula for weighted average cost of capital, let's do an example of a, of a company in calculating what their weighted average cost of capital is. So here's a situation where the company, Dania Incorporated, has 4 million common shares outstanding that are trading at $100 a share. They have debt of $200 million and mark, market value of their preferred shares is $100 million. Cost of debt is 3% cost of preferred shares is 5 and equity is 10%, tax rate is uh, 40%. So what's their cost of capital, weighted average cost of capital? So I find the simplest thing to do in this type of scenario is to write down all of the information first that you need for the formula. So equity, the common shares, is going to be $400 million in market value. And the way that's calculated is the $100 per share times the 4 million shares that are outstanding. So essentially that's the market capitalization of the company, or the total value of the common shares. Preferred shares, we're going to assume that uh, the $100 million is the market value, as is the debt of $200 million. So the, the total value of this company is going to be the sum of all of the debt and the components of equity, preferred and common. So that works out to 400 million of equity, 100 million of preferred shares, and 200 million of debt, so the company's value is $700 million. And that's going to be important when we do the formula. We're given some other information we're going to need, which is that the uh, cost of debt before tax is 3%, and the cost of preferred shares is uh, 5%. The cost of equity or common shares, in this case, is given as 10%, and the corporate tax rate uh, is 40% for the company, and that's going to be relevant to uh, to the to debt because it's tax deductible. So, if we write out the formula that we did in the last uh, tutorial, we have that weighted average cost of capital is going to be the proportionate amount of cost from each of the, uh, the types of funding. So, if we take debt divided by value, so the proportion of the company that is financed by debt times the cost of debt times 1 minus the tax rate, because debt is tax deductible. That'll give us the debt portion. And then preferred shares divided by value times the cost of preferred. And similarly, common shares divided by the value times the cost of common equity. So if we substitute the numbers that we've got, we have 200 million in debt, and the value of the company is 700 million. So 200 divided by 700 times the 3% tax rate times one, or sorry, 3% interest rate times one minus the 40% tax rate plus 100 million in preferred divided by the value of 700 million times the preferred cost of 5% and then 400 million in common equity divided by the value of 700 times the 10% that we get for uh, the cost of common equity. If we solve for that, we get uh, 0 0.0694 or 6.94 percent. So that is the minimum percentage that the company is going to need to return on all of the investments that they make in the future, uh, or uh, they're not adding any value. So this is going to be uh, uh, the hurdle rate or the discount rate or the bare minimum that they must earn on everything going forward.